you you often talk about we need to get off this planet. Yep. Can I try to sneak up on that by asking what in your kind of view is the difference, the gap between the science of it, the theory, and the actual engineering of building something that leverages the theory to do something. Like how big is that? We don't know. Gap. I mean, if you have 10 extra dimensions to play with that are the rulers and protractors of the world themselves, can you gain access to those dimensions? Do you have a hunch? So I don't know. I don't want to get ahead of myself because you have to appreciate I can have hunches and I can, I can jaw off, but one of the ways that I'm succeeding in this world is to not bow down to my professional communities, nor to ignore them. Like I'm actually interested in the criticism. I just want to denature it so that it's not pers mostly interpersonal and irrelevant. Um, I believe that they don't want me to speculate and I don't need to speculate about this. I can simply say, I'm open to the idea that it may have engineering prospects and it may be a death sentence. We may find out that there's not enough new here that even if it were right, that there would be nothing new to do. Can't tell you. That's what you mean by death sentences. There would not be exciting breakthroughs Wouldn't that follow on. Wouldn't it be on. terrible if you couldn't, like you can do new things in an Einsteinian world that you couldn't do in a Newtonian world. Right. You know, like you have twin paradoxes or Lorentz contraction of length or any one of a number of new cool things happen in relativity theory that didn't happen for Newton. What if there wasn't new stuff to do at the next and final level? So first yeah, of all, that would be quite sad. Yeah. 